Hi and welcome. In this video I want to give you a bit of an introduction to profiles in Adobe Camera Raw. Ok, well let's start off with a question. Are profiles like presets? Well no they're not. Presets are a record of just the, the slider positions for a particular edit that can be saved out and applied then with one click to any image. Profiles are how your camera raw data is interpreted to create the image that you see on screen. When you press the shutter on your camera, data from your photo sites on your camera sensor are transferred onto your memory card. At this point, it's binary data. It's a series of zeros and ones that even if you could see it, it wouldn't make any sense because it's not an image. What's needed is a method of converting that data into an image. That's what a profile does. Now here we've got an image opening camera raw. And you can see up here that the profile that is converting the data to produce this image is called Adobe Standard. Now this was the Adobe Standard uh, for many years. About 10 years in fact. Uh, and recently they, Adobe said, well things have changed a lot in how we interpret image data and how we manage edits. So what they did is they created a new version and that new version was called Adobe Color. And you'll see if I switch between them, so there's Adobe Standard and there's Adobe Color. Now it's subtle but there is a change, it's got a little bit more vibrant. Now there were some other profiles created as well. We've got Adobe Landscape, which basically gives you a really um, saturated feel for landscape images. Um, we've got Adobe Portrait, which gives you more of a muted look uh, for a starting point for your portrait editing. Um, and it's really good for, for skin tones. Uh, and we've got Adobe Vivid, which basically boosts the heck out of all the colours and oversaturates in, in, in lots of cases, it doesn't do a good job. And then we had Adobe Monochrome, which was obviously a black and white rendition. But this was quite a limited palette. And so recently this was extended. Um, and if we just look at this browser profile to the side and you click on that, what we've got is a, a load of different profiles. And um, I'll just drop this one down. I'll say, well, this is the, the Adobe Camera Raw one that we looked at earlier, where we've got Adobe Color and Adobe Standard and Adobe Neutral and Adobe Portrait. And all of them give a slightly different color rendition of the image. Let me close that one up. This one, we've got camera matching. And these are the ones that you'll probably have in your camera, like a muted, a natural, a portrait, a vivid, and a, and a monotone. Here we've got some extra ones. We've got a monotone on a green filter, monotone with an orange filter, one with a red filter, and this one with a yellow filter. And it's giving us a lot of options on, on the starting point for the image, or when you've finished imaging your, your image, then you can add a profile right at the end. Um, but you can only add one profile. Every image can only have one interpretation. So at the end of it, you can put a profile on, but you can't multi-stack profiles. And then we've got some artistic ones, which give you some weird colors, artistics. Um, and then we've got some black and white ones. These ones are really good for giving you different starting points for your black and white images. And we've got some modern ones which again, we've just got loads of different interpretations of how that image is presented to start with. And then some vintage ones, which give you some, try and give you some oldie worldy looks to your images. Now I've got one here called profiles that you may not have. Uh, and this is because I've created my own profiles. So if I just show you them, what I've got is for my camera, which you see up here is an Olympus EM1X. I've created these profiles in the different lighting conditions that I work in. So I know that me, me, if you like, my light is always going to be correct. I'm not relying on how Adobe think it should be. I've actually created a profile. So here I've got a daylight profile. So if I shoot outside, 
I can come in and I can add that profile to all my images and I know the colors are going to be correct. Um, I've got an overcast profile. Uh, I've got a kitchen profile, which is when I was doing a little bit of studio work in the kitchen during lockdown. But I actually created a profile for that lighting condition, the light that was falling on the subject. And then I've got one for sunny. So I've created these to help me to make sure that I'm always in control of the light. It's always my images when I see them on the screen are going to be correct when it comes to colour. Well, that's it for an introduction to colour profiles. I hope that was useful to you. If it was, please give me a thumbs up or leave a comment under the video. And click on the subscribe button and become part of the LiveLink training learning community. It will be really helpful for me if you did. I'll see you in the very next video. Bye for now.